How you doing today? Uh, I won't be able to stay long. I have work tomorrow and I need to sleep. I love you, Reno. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to ship your graphics card out. Um, I'm depressed as fuck again. I'm sorry. Uh, I've been in bed all day. Um, yeah, I had, like I told you a couple days ago, maybe a week ago, I had my medication changed. Um, uh. And it's taken me a little while to um, get fully adjusted. Um, also, I've been reading the news a lot lately. And uh, yeah, if you have uh, depression problems, bipolar issues and stuff, don't read the news. Even if you're a journalist and you love reading the news. I have a degree in journalism. My batch my bachelor's is in journalism. And I love reading the news, but the news is terrible. Terrible. Whoa. Sending you digital hugs three times one time. Sending That's you Dominic, digital right? hugs. This is Dominic, right? Sean's friend. How you doing? I always get confused. There's there's two people with very similar names. Um, I don't watch slash read the news. I'm already just depressed and existential enough. Well, COVID's about to get really, really, really bad again. Um, the CDC is recommending a, a booster shot for everybody. Uh, it, you know, it just I'm not gonna yeah I'm not gonna get into it, but. It's the summer, and we're about to go into the winter, and shit's about to get really, really bad. Electra and I's 10th anniversary is coming up. We wanted to go on vacation. It is... It is not gonna fucking happen. Are you kidding me? So, um... There's some Half-Life 3 news. Yeah, I saw the Chalk Eaters behind the scenes. So there's some Half-Life 3 news. Um, I put that Half-Life 3 logo for a reason. There is some actual Half-Life 3 news right now. Um, there, I'm going to make a video on it uh, soon-ish. My voice is kind of low, sorry. Is it bad news? No, 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 no. no. Uh, I'm not going to explain too much of it because I don't want to give away the story to people that may steal stories from me. Um, but I will tell you, uh, in... The final hours of Half-Life Alex. David Speyer admitted to directing a game at Valve for about a year or two called Half-Life 3. And that version of Half-Life 3 um, was uh, involved procedural generation. You know, d d d press one if you remember this. Like, it would generate random, like, random apartment buildings and you'd have to go in and, you know, you'd, you'd rescue us. Like, a certain quest would be in there and stuff. So, go read the final hours of Half-Life Alex, or go watch one of the many videos talking Whoa. about that. Haven't been Haven't getting been Twitch getting Live Twitch notice for some reason. Glad some to catch the stream. Glad to catch this That's stream. not good. That's not what I want to hear. Um, so, let me give you some background. I, I really have to watch what I say, because this is journalism, this game's journalist gold that I'm dealing with. And I always end up not saying too much. Dick Dick dealing with 100. He had a fucking little um, dick. Based I always, do you know what I mean? I always it. end up saying too much, and then I lose out on the views that I could get if um, if I had just waited and made a video. But I do want to let you guys know there's something going on, and it generally goes like this: uh, robot repair, procedural generation, Half Life Three. Play. Data mine. Play. Wait for the video. Whoa. HL3 but 69 cuddles, 69 with the 17 months. Not VR, no. Uh, I won't say too much. Uh, not drum neck with the 10 months, thank you very much. I will say there is some in just... Probably the most interesting data mining that has ever gone on in the history of Valve content. It's amazing what's going on right now. And what's hilarious is I actually was do was working on what's currently being worked on about a year ago with Piston Miner. 
Um, but we both got busy. So, expect a Half-Life 3 video sometime this month. Like, actual Half-Life 3 information is being discovered right now. The Alibi, the Albi, the Albi with the 18 months. Respawn dev accidentally went live trying to test record some animations. They didn't realize they were live until basically a lot of stuff got leaked. <laughs> got the video. Oh, so you mean old Half-Life 3? Uh, yes. And no. Wait for the video. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. That's all I'm saying. When will the video be out? Hopefully this month. Uh, I didn't do letting off steam this month because I was in bed all day. I've been very, very depressed. Um, I wouldn't say jumping off a big Minecraft tower level of depressed, but getting there. Uh, Um, so, what I'm currently working on, right now I'm working on an emergency video that I can hopefully get out tomorrow. Um, the cyberpunk community is shooting itself in the foot, uh, and I have a lot to say because I've very quickly become a representative of the cyberpunk community since Pavel shouts me out every fucking live stream now, which is cool. I love you, Pavel. Uh, my Uncle Sasko. Um, so, I know a lot of you aren't really massive cyberpunk fans, but as you know, I am. Uh, and, you know, thank you for putting me in, getting me into cyberpunk. I've put in like 60 hours now. I love to hear that. I love, it's, I've been really sad lately, but what makes me happy is when I have these games that I'm really into. And uh, I stream them and stuff, and I go from seeing none of my friends on Steam playing them to all of my friends on Steam playing it. It happened with uh, with Fallout 76, it happened with this, it happened with Doom Eternal. It's so fun to see the games that I'm like interested in get attention from the people that watch my live streams and stuff. Uh, my Steam skin is called OG Steam. I recommend it a lot. Also the new download menu. I bought this game that just came out that looks really, really good because I'm a sucker for cyberpunk stuff called The Ascent. This game looks dope. Uh, I'm probably gonna play it when I get some time. It's uh, it's an isometric RPG set in a cyberpunk dystopia. And it looks fucking great. Half-Life 2 Remastered Collection? Yeah, so the lead dev of the Half-Life 2 Massive Collection. I'm friends with on Steam. I've gotten in contact and I was given permission to ask any question. You're getting a video on the remastered collection this month as well. Um, but the remastered collection is legitimate. And um, do you accept friend requests? Yes. Uh, not from everybody. I have to recognize your name from streams. Uh, you have to be a sub or you have to have a lot of mutuals with people that I'm already friends with. That's pretty much how I handle it. I will never, ever, ever, ever accept a level zero account, ever. But, this is obviously you. Many, many Panda, and now we have a guy named Panda, and they play a lot of Half-Life. Yeah. My OG skin doesn't look like that. Well, I'm using Friends List Patcher on top of the skin. Just look up OG Steam. It's really great. Um, and then other stuff that I've been working on is mod lists, and you'd be really shocked to hear, but I'm actually working on a Grand Theft Auto 3 mod list right now. <laughs> Uh, mod lists that I'm working on, Doom 2016, Cyberpunk 2077 for when 1.3 comes out, Witcher 3, and GTA 3 for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. I was just like, I feel like making a GTA 3 mod list. Actually, I think I do know why. Um, it's because that RE3, the reverse engineered Grand Theft Auto 3 renderware engine is being developed. And it's not where I want it to be. Like, it doesn't support, like, Clio mods and stuff. Uh, and it doesn't fix the... Uh, six to over 30 over 25 fps physics bugs that you can fix with like frame rate vigilante um so 
Doom Eternal mod list, maybe? I am working on that. But that one's going to be a bit more complicated because it's in the... So, Doom 2016, it's actually going to be two mod lists. One for people that want, a, 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 like, a vanilla plus experience, and then another one for crazy people that want, like, brutal Doom 2016. Almost, right? And then I'm going to have to do the same thing for Eternal. But there are so many different things to choose from that are worth your time in terms of, like master level mods and HUD mods that it's not like I won't be able to create like one master list of mods I'll just have to like shout out a bunch of creators and you're just gonna have to pick um, death trash is going into early access on the fifth in three days but they actually sent me a key um, which is really nice of them I have access to the beta and it's amazing and a death trash is so fucking cool but i don't want to play it because i want to play it on stream so i have this game that i have access to but at the same time it's like I, I don't i asked like can i stream it and they're like no but the death trash devs are super it's mostly just the one guy super fucking cool if you're unaware of what death trash is it's it's uh it's like fallout one meets Uh, it's like Fallout 1 meets its own thing. It's it, Fallout 1 meets Diablo 2 meets maybe Witcher 1 a little bit. It's, 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 it's very, very good. Do you actually play Fallout 1? Oh, hell yeah, I play Fallout 1. Are you kidding? I love Fallout 1. Fallout 1 might actually be my favorite Fallout, but don't tell nobody I said that. Well, that one's great. Um, oh, Beastmaster6969. You see, your name had 6969 in it, and that made me, like, immediately hit no. And I apologize for that, but your name does have 6969 in it. <laughs> I'm working on a mod list for Alex, but it's more than just a mod list. It's, like, tweaks and fixes and things like that. And then I am working on a mod list for Half-Life 1, uh, which I feel like I am qualified to talk about, wouldn't you say? Uh, Anti-Chamber, I played a lot of years ago. I pirated it years ago. Um, Anti-Chamber is very good. Uh, I'm working through getting... I used to pirate games constantly before I had money, but now... As you can see, I own 1,800 Steam games, so I don't pirate games anymore. Insdell, I know you. Lint, I don't recognize you. Oh, there you are. Yep. Um. Oh, and I'm working on an RDR2 list. I'm thinking about doing a GTA 5 list because there's some really cool mods that exist. Let me show you. I'm just gonna have to, in case it shows porn or something. There are some really cool mods for GTA 5. Let me see if I can find the one that, that blew my mind. It's like, whoa, that exists. So, there are these mods for GTA single player that effectively ports the multiplayer, the online stuff into the single player campaign. And they're amazing. They're so cool. It's like a lot of the cool new stuff that gets added into online. People have been working to bring them back. You know. Um, the problem is I've been actually like doing a lot of research for online right now. Um, for no real reason, wink. And, you know. Yeah, I'm just trying to... There's a lot of stuff going on. There are... Let me see if I can find the mod. Just... DLC. There's one mod in particular that just blows my mind. Let me see if I can find it. I mean, there's GTA 5 mods that port a lot of the GTA 4 content, which is cool. Here it is. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto Online Missions for Single Player. 
it ports all of these single player, all of these online missions into single player. So fucking cool. So that's what I'm, I'm working on that. I just like, I've been seeing people giving me a little bit of shit for like, oh, making mod lists means you're running out of ideas. But the thing is like, I mod anyways, like I mod constantly. Um, and so it's like, I may or may not own several copies of GTA 5. I own three, I think. I own a P I own a, a inbox PC copy. I own PS4 and I own Xbox 360. A new Vegas mod list? No, maybe not. Probably not because that's very overdone. Did you see about the Nexus stuff? Yeah, Nexus is like doing this mod list thing, but they're not giving credit to the actual modders and also not really giving them a choice. Nexus is pulling some shit. Um, oh, I want to show you something I found at a thrift store. I'll be right back. This might be why I did what I was doing. Found an inbox copy of GTA 3 for five bucks. For PC. I'm jealous of your room. Welcome to Liberty City. Thank you. People don't really like GTA 3 as much as they like Vice City and, and San Andreas, and that's understandable. It is definitely the most boring of the three. But I don't know, there's just something about it. First time I've joined a stream in like two months. Thank you for joining. So what I would like to do is show you how I make mod lists. Would you be interested in, in seeing that? So we're going to do GTA 3. Uh, this is a vanilla install of GTA 3, just to prove it. Let's watch my computer fall apart by trying to launch this damn thing. It's also going to be loud. It's fucked up. Working right. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you for. Uh, thank you, Emma Gopher. Asks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, visualize the desk into. Oh, so does that just does that just not work? There it goes. All right, unmodded. Now let's mod it. Let's have him go back in and save for the... Why does he have a mustache? It's a the player two model. It's skins, you can, you can have skins. Player setup. See? There. Now he looks like his normal self, Claude. So, to get started, Here's the install folder, Steam, and this. You always get the first thing you always gotta do, go to the PC Gaming Wiki, best website on the internet. If you don't know about PC Gaming Wiki, it is an archive of game fixes. You just type in a game and it'll show you a whole bunch of fixes. It's amazing. So there's this, but I'm also going to show you GTA 3 mods. There are 
different mod packs that already exist for GTA 3. I think the, the one that I like is Liberty City Definitive Edition. Um, there it is, yeah. So this Definitive Edition website's pretty cool. Uh, it does a bit of, it like, I use this as a base, but it's not, it's not finished by any means. So it's a gigabyte file, we'll let that download. And while that's downloading, we will look around at what exists. So this is going to give you like the majority of the basic mods and stuff that are worth looking at. Um, now there are mods that people recommend. So here's the thing. Here's something that I do when making mod lists. I'll mod a game, play it for a little bit, delete it, mod it again play for a little bit, delete it, mod again, and then just get better and better and better at modding and then write the list. This is my third time modding uh, GTA 3. Mm -hmm. I think I modded Cyberpunk five times before I made the video. I just wanna make sure I'm like, I know what I'm doing, right? Uh, and also, when you download mod packs, make sure that you're willing to um, go through the scripts, you know, and read. So frame rate vigilante fixes bugs and stuff. We're gonna set that to 60. G input three. We're gonna set the control set to five. Global, make sure that those are on. Widescreen fix, We're gonna set this to two. Smaller Corona on. Okay. Limit adjuster. Yo. Oh, trade offer. I haven't gotten these in a while. I don't really push them that much. Oh, I don't have a whole lot, but I know it can help. Yo, thank you very much, Instel. Yeah, I mean, if you want exclamation point trade in the chat, if you want to be able to send me that kind of stuff. We are going to mod GTA 4 because GTA 4 out of everything needs the most. So this kind of stuff you can adjust. Um, So for frame rate limit, we need 105. I always want, like, the dream is to have Wabajack for all the games that I work on, right? But it never seems like it's going to work because you need MO2 support. And unless you're a Bethesda game, MO2 is just not, you know, not something that seems like it, it can work. Turning up the limits. All right. Thank you very much for those. I appreciate it. Got two more. I know you. Fartface McGee. I, I would not accept someone with this name. Identify yourself. How much money to finish Bioshock Infinite? $100. I would definitely download your Wabajack for Cyberpunk. Yeah, and I was working on it today, but you can't install Cyber Engine Tweaks mods. Uh, I am Fartface McGee, do not worry. All right. Yeah. Toenail Clipper. Now you guys are just giving me terrible names. Classic Axis. Classic Axis is a, is a vehicle handling mod. Windshields, yes. Burstable tires, yes. Lod lights. All right. 
it does does this have right, I'm talking to myself right now and I apologize for that sky GFX we're gonna leave that alone go to the MSS folder okay go to the Clio folder all right it does not have the extended draw distance mod I don't think but before we fuck around with it, we need to make sure that it's working. Turn our Xbox controller on. Oh, that's right, I need to turn those off. All right, already looking better. I'm gonna go to the options, display setup, draw distance all the way up, frame sync on, frame limiter on, trails off, on, on, back. Player setup. All right, we have the Xbox player uh, thing there. Good. Load the game. There's some new Citadel stuff, but I've just been busy. All right, so as you can see, it's already looking a hell of a lot better, uh, but we can do a bit better than this. Um, I usually don't like reshades. Uh, but for a game this old, I recommend a reshade. Big ass moon. There's a mod that adds dynamic moon cycles that I like. Reshades can be good. My favorite reshade is the one for Doom 2016, the Carmack reshade. That, that one's amazing. All right. So now what we're going to do is this guy, 13AG, who, by the way, is a genius. Uh, he has so many widescreen fix patches that are so good. We're going to go to his GitHub because he has a bunch of fixes on his GitHub. All right, go to his repositories. So this 2DFX project uh, we need to install. It, it expands uh, draw distances. Oh, it already has it. Silly me! It's right there. Whoopsies. Oh, didn't want to do that. No, 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 no. So this is, he's, this is the guy working on the reverse engineering project for GTA 3. And there's some excellent work being done for it right now. However, um... I'm waiting for it to, um, you know, change some things. I'm waiting for some features to be added in and then I'll move over to it. Alrighty, I'm gonna get to the Clio scripts here. Get his releases page. Car speed dependent FOV, no. Walk mod, no. Quick save, yes. Quick save mod, these are Clio scripts. Throw that in there. Uh, quick save and then auto save. Yes. Uh, no. Vehicle camera movement. No. Okay. Save loader. Automatically loads the last save upon start. There's a script. File. Okie dokie. All right, now we gotta test the game again. Look at that. Throws you right into the game. for the cyberpunk video? No, I'm making a GTA th I'm making GTA modding videos. Yeah. Because the plan is that after uh we need to stress test it for a minute. So I'm just going to drive around the city. After um I'm my obsession with CD Project Red dies down, which 
will I will tell you will be a while. Um, we're gonna be making GTA videos for a while, GTA and Red Dead Redemption, because I love GTA, and nobody's really doing any good GTA Six rumor videos. Boink! Any way I can help out with GTA reporting? Yeah, probably, but we're not there yet. Let's go to Joey. Let's get a mission. So one mod that I want is increasing draw distances for entities. Project 2DFX is amazing because it extends the draw distance for the world geometry, but it doesn't extend the entity draw distance, so like vehicles and... Vehicles and pedestrians, you'll see them pop in very close. And then, on top of that, the, the level of detail models are really, really bad. And I have no idea how to increase it because it's like... This game is 20 years old. Thoughts on GTA 5? I played through it all the way, I think, four times over the years single player and I've put in almost no time in GTA Online. I plan on it for the videos because I need to be familiar with it. That's my, you know, that's my rule. Any video, any game that I'm like really reporting on, I need to be very familiar with inside and out and I hate, I hate journalists that don't put in the time to do that. You know, like put the time in, play the damn games you're reporting on, otherwise you're just going to show the first 10 minutes of gameplay over and over again. I hate that. That GTA 5 is awesome. You didn't like Vice City that much? Well, pretty much 3 and Vice City definitely show their age, you know. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Are there any good car AI mods for GTA 5? Yeah. There's good mods for everything in GTA 5, are you kidding me? I wish I remember where 8... Oh, 8 Balls is right there. Because there's that car shop next to 8 Ball... ...that... ...has the really nice sports car in it. You think GTA Chinatown Wars is bad? Are you a dumbass? Chinatown Wars is amazing. I'm not I'm not letting that I'm not letting that slide. That game is fucking incredible. Chinatown Wars is amazing. It it's it's my favorite, not the advanced one. Chinatown Wars is not GTA Advance. Chinatown Wars is the one on the DS and the PSP. It's amazing. Oh, also iPad. It's fucking incredible. It's, I think, my favorite GTA story ever made. Did the audio just cut out? Yeah, the audio cut out. So there's this, this shop over here. That might be a bug, I'm not sure. The Game Boy GTAs? I mean, they're just remakes or ports of 1 and 2, right? I didn't realize they were original games. Oh, didn't they try and, like, demake GTA 3 into the GTA 2 style? Alright, we gotta crash into the glass. The audio is a PC related bug.
I'll see if there's a fix for it somewhere. Got yourself a sports car. 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 Got yourself. Got yourself. Got yourself a sports car. Oh yeah, a sports car. This car is about to blow the fuck up. That lady just jumped in front of my car. She wants to die. I mean, you gotta give the people what they want. Let's shoot this fucker. Let's shoot this guy. Let's shoot this fucker. Let's shoot this guy. Let's shoot this fucker. Let's shoot this guy. Oh yeah, this guy. Gotta love GTA controls. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I failed. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> All right. So, first, let's see if we can fix that audio bug. So, there's this really cool mod that takes the higher quality PS2 sounds and converts them for you so that you can do that thing. Isn't that cool? So, there's that. We need this. Download this. Download this. Just put this, oh, wait, put this in here, put this there, put this in here, cool, and then take this, go in here, put it in there. All right, now we have higher quality sounds. Now let's get this. What does sharp trails do? I don't... Nah. Nah. Don't want it. Alright. So now let's go to GTA 3 Sound Bug.
So, um, Sonic Mania is amazing. So there's a GTA uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 High Res Radio Stations. I know somebody made a mod that increases the quality of the radio stations. Where is it? Let's look at this first. Core pack. Nah, I don't need the core pack. Nah, I don't want that either. PS2 radio dispatch voice. All right, so it's not there. Let's look at Particle EX. <sighs> I guess I'll do Sharp Trails. I, gu I guess I'll do it. I guess we'll do it. Just gotta go boop. GTA 3 Dark Edition. Wow. It's very old. PS2 feels. Wow, it's even older. Xbox version HD. Ooh, Trojan blocked. Great. Oh, there it is. High quality radio stations. In case you don't know, GTA 3 radio stations are just long, M long MP3 files. That's all it is. Single files. They're just, they're in one of these folders. What folder are they in? Ooh, the README, that can be deleted. How do, how do you, I forget. Here's a mod that Let's see if it explains to you. Wow, this is from 2009. Did you know that committing crimes in front of animals in GTA 5 can get the cops called on you? 
Oh wait, is it really in audio? Oh my god, it is. Oh my god. Tyler is a dumbass. Alright, let's test it out again. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, steal a car. Let's uh, steal a car. People freak out when you punch. Hey, nice car there, bud. This is my truck now. came out three years before Half-Life 2. So what those high quality radio stations actually are, are they're ripped from the Xbox version of this game, which is by far the best version uh, on consoles because it was the last made version, and so all the assets are much higher quality. And so effectively what all the mods I'm trying to do, install do, is, you know, they just kind of take the improvements that exist in the Xbox version and bring them to the PC, so you can play them on your computer, higher resolution, 60 FPS, that kind of thing. Yeah. An improved Xbox version? Yeah. Yeah, it was part of a two-pack, Vice City and 3. The 60 FPS breaks the limit, uh, breaks physics, though. Uh, it, yes, it does. Uh, however, there are mods... 
Oh wait, what was my mission? Wasn't I just supposed to kill the thieves? No? Do you like Vice City? I like all Grand Theft Auto games, man. Alright, so now let's look at some of the mod websites. So, you can go on ModDB, but these are more for, like, total conversions and stuff. And there are some total conversions, some cool ones, too. Uh, but that's not really what we're going after, you know? Like, this one looks really cool. But, again, not what we're here for. Let's, let's find another song. So let's go to G2. The actual, like, Grand Theft Auto websites are pretty much where you want to go. Not this one, though. This website sucks. GTA Garage is amazing, though. All right, well. Not good. Sky Gradients. Yeah, I really like this one. I was playing with this the other day. It makes the game look kind of kind of cool. I'll show you. Goes in the data folder. Take a look at this. This mod's nuts. It's a sky gradient mod. But it also, like, kind of adds this, like, fog to the... Just look. Oh, well, it's nighttime now. It's gotta be daytime. Look at this. Definitely personal preference, but I think it looks kind of good. Like, it's early in the morning. It's kind of foggy outside. Kind of hazy. So I like that look. But again, it's personal preference. Back to the website. Improved roads. Some of these are like such a small improvement that it's like, who fucking cares, you know? This is a good mod. This mod, I'll show you. Look how quickly you get into the game. Look at the mini map. It changes it to the one from Liberty City Stories. Makes it look more like a mini map. I like that one a lot. Interested. Give me something cool to listen to. Very best of home. It will be the Odyssey is not the best of home. Yeah, I mean it's it's an okay. So this one's okay. This is a good one. Apparently, it's a borderless windowed mode. Hell yeah. Mm. 
What does this mod do? It adds blue cones. Racing missions. Spring weather. Any other websites? So I think where it's at right now is pretty good. So let's just play it for a minute and see how it feels. The sky is missing. This is not nighttime. The sky is missing. Fucked it up. Let's change it back. I did see that somebody ported the Vice City map. Yeah, that was dope. Alright, let's try it now. No, the sky is still missing. Feels like it's that mod that's doing this. Is the sky missing on a new save file? Yes. That's really weird. See, this kind of thing happens all the time with uh, modding. If I delete this, I'm going to close Steam.
Why is this happening now? Try reinstalling the mod with this guys. I don't think that's gonna do it. But we can try. I mean short of just uninstalling everything and going again, which I do all the time when shit like this goes down. Because obviously I did something. Let's 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 take a look at the configuration files that I fucked with here. Let's see if anybody else has had this problem. GTA three missing sky. How to fix black sky. Wait, is this GTA 4? Yeah. I have no idea. That sucks. It's going so well. Again. But now we have like pretty much everything already downloaded, so we'll just throw everything back in.
Cool. Sorry if this is boring. This is what modding looks like. Need music back on? Fuck you. Sorry. What is this? All right. Don't care. All right. Put that in there. And put this in here. All right, let's see. pissed me off actually way more than I expected it to I probably just installed something wrong but wow that pissed me off wow okay so we're gonna move on from that for a little while why don't I have a penis Look at all these people. No. None of you. Y'all smell. Let's play Hasbro's Battleship. Just a random ass game. Let's play Hasbro's Battleship, everybody. No, this isn't a fucking mobile game that we ported to Steam. Ugh. What the hell is this? Oh, a dollar ninety-nine. Okay. Have you played that game yet? Eleven months. 
1199. Oh, look at all the money I can spend on battleship. That's really cool of you to get it on the fucking first guess. Why did you make an H? The H is... The H stands for hell. Yeah, I got a hit. I feel like the game is throwing pity at me because they took out my ships so quickly. Am I playing this on Stadia? No, I wish I was. Stadia sure takes up no space. He has three of my ships, I have one of his. Isn't the name Rick Hardcore the name of that guy who filmed porn and got arrested and sued because he was effectively raping everybody in the videos? You may want to change your name. Unless that's you! It's top row. KK Gamer was right. Sunk 
his battleship. Alright, now it's tied. Actually, I'm winning. Because I have the battleship and he doesn't. Alright, KK Gamer, tell me where else. Tell me where it is. Tell me where it is. KK Gamer, tell me where I'm clicking. Where am I clicking? You can give me exact coordinates. <laughs> I just know! <laughs> G7! YOLO F3 Oof. E10 E10 nope. I mean correct me if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure the name Rick Hardcore is the guy that got in a fuck ton of trouble for effectively raping a bunch of people like at like you may, you may not want to be called that. You don't want to be aligned with a fucking rapist. G4. I remember reading that in the news. I'm an old man who likes to read the paper every day. But I just get it on my iPad. E4. Game's over. I lost. I lost. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> it all comes tumbling down in one fucking turn. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Wow. Giuseppe Ferreira. <gasps> no way. Wow. I'm really making a name for myself. Well. level two on Hasbro's battleship, guys. Let's play this other... No. That's enough of this. That's enough of that. Let's play another dumbass game. <sighs> uh, what do we got here? Let's play this. You ever played this before?
guy's Kalunga. Guys, you won't believe what this weird thing told me. It told me Kalunga. Try a game called Distance? Okay. So what is this? I have it purchased and installed. I have no idea what this is. racing
is our new home. By combining the resources of satellite sectors, the array functions as one well metropolis. From energy storage to Half-Life Alex. When did this game come out? Twenty twelve, twenty fourteen. to drive up on the wall.
What the fuck? Damn me curious of the story of a fucking car game. This game is called Distance. Distance. like shortcut there's like secret paths and stuff whoa This is sick. Holy shit. Whoever recommended this, thank you. the hell? It's just gonna keep going? Definitely Half-Life inspired. I'm curious, like, are there alternate paths if you're, like, keeping an eye out, you know? Don't fucking tell me. Don't fucking... Are you fucking kidding me? You have successfully completed it's the portal racing game.
can fly at any time. Just jump up and push the button. That seems like a pain to keep track of, but whatever. Ooh. Drive on any surface?
energy is being diverted to Sector 1 Teleportation Chamber. Automated production has been halted until power levels are restored. All available energy is being diverted to Sector 1 Teleportation Chamber. Automated production has been halted until power levels are restored. I've been really depressed today. I'm streaming. Do you want to say hi? Uh, you're not going to say hi to Electra. Huh? Uh, 73 people. It's a Twitch stream. We're just playing random Steam games. Hi to Electra, anyways. Hi. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm back to work when I wake up, but for the time being, yeah, I've been. I mean, I'm open about it. I'm, I am okay with the fact that I am a crazy person. I've accepted that. And it's my goal to learn how to live productively with it. You know? So. We're playing this cool driving game right now called uh, Distance. How's the stream look? I gotta say I'm liking the beard. <laughs> it's going away after I film a video tomorrow. The beard is just to make the Team Fortress 2 News Network character more disheveled. Tyler, I just got back into making content, worked on a few cyberpunk cinematics. It'd be crazy if you checked them out. Yeah, add me on Discord. I'll check them out. Bitrate seems a bit low. It's as high as I'm allowed uh, to go. I mean, I can technically put it up to 8,000 and I won't get in trouble, but... Uber, you don't want to come down on the camera? Talk to them about anime until I lose half of them? German because I sit in the chair. I don't want to be sitting Ask in the chair. Ask if are there any native German speakers in the chat? I am going to Germantown. I am going to 
what would you call it? Uh, like a German village, almost. Yeah, I'm going to a German village, I guess. So I need to practice. Oh my fucking god! I just started casting this Twitch stream directly to my parents' bedroom by accident. I hope. Hello, hello, hi, hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hope we didn't wake you up. <laughs> Are we still on there? I don't want to disturb them. Hello. We might be. Who knows? Um. <laughs> um. Yes. This week I am going to a place where my my family members first um, immigrated, and it's just um bunch of Germans there, so I'm trying to practice my German, yeah. <laughs> which is... Say something in German. Hmm. My favorite phrase, and I don't know why, is es tut mir leid. That's my favorite thing to say. Do we not have any Germans? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see um, a play. No Germans. I watched the Olympics. Yep. I also watched the Olympics. Do you guys watch the Olympics? Didn't Tyler once find a Mein Kampf book? Yes, I did. In my grandmother's house. What? Yeah, I found the Hitler book on Nana's bookshelf. Um, my freelance editing work is going well. Why am I interested in German? <sighs> um... Because my grandma is German, and um, I'm going back to her hometown, which people call Amish country, <laughs> but it's um, a bunch of Pennsylvania Germans. Tyler, you made your grandma sound racist. They said, "Oh no, racist they didn't have grandma." Any explanation as to why it was. I don't know. You watch the Olympics at a sports bar? High school. And now. Wait. Um. Yeah, so that's been my life, is just, um, the Olympics. The new Sims expansion pack, Cottage Living. Olympics. So, nobody wants to talk about anime. Nobody wants to talk about it? How's your anime lately? Um. What I have I watched? Watch I went through this period where I watched like anime for like two weeks and it's all I did. A lot of slice of life lately, which is not normally my thing. Yeah. What's that one called that we were watching? Fruits no. Love is War. Has anyone ever seen that one? It's oh, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> It's like a comedy anime. You really are quite cute. I started watching my first anime, One Piece. Oh god. Good, good luck. That isn't a good, that's not a good, um, first anime in my it's opinion. It's also like a thousand episodes, so. I don't have any 
many Allen wrenches? Does anybody know where my Allen wrenches are? Your Allen wrench? The first and last slice of life anime I've seen is your lie in April. Oh, I've seen that. Which one is that? <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, I think I know which one that it is. That is a terrible one. Why? Wait, which one is it? Tell me the plot so we know what. Tell me. <laughs> So we know we're talking about the same one. Where where are you, Boo Bear? Right here. Yeah. Another bad anime is um The Day I Became a God. It's kind of like the same reason why I hate your lie in April. So anyone ever saw the anime The Day I Became a God? Have I lost half the people yet? No, you gained some. How did I gain some? I don't know. Because you're cute. Mm. Ask me questions, because I'm too tired to have a train of thought. Do I have to ask you questions? Yeah, ask me a question. Oh, your lie in April is the, the the piano guy. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I don't like the ending of that. Why? Well, that was so unnecessary. Love is war. Love is war. Love is war. <laughs> Girl, die. <laughs> Does anybody die. know this video game? Do you know this video game? Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody on stream know this video game? It's in a big box. It's the size of Electra's head. Did they have like? One of my favorite games as a kid. Did they have like generic versions of this online? Because oh, yeah. um, I don't think I had that. I had like. A free online version. Here's another good game. Did you ever play this one? No. Anybody play this one? It's a good one. Where did all your cats go? Um, one's over there. I don't know, we still have them. Anyone ever play this game? What music is on? The game music. That's a PlayStation. Anybody ever play this game? Lots of paper. It has. What? What? Why does it have hoil on the back? Because it's it's this is. This so, is not right. Yeah, it is. It's advert. If you like crosswords, then you'll love. buy it. I already know. What, this game? I could try, I could do whatever I could to say, hey, this sucks, don't buy it, and they would still buy it. Why? Because I'm not good at sales. Tell them about our date day. 
what about it? Just tell him about it. Tyler brought me on a date. <laughs> I bought her a bunch of stuff, and I bought myself something. I splurged. Bought myself the copy. Um, first of, of all, I bought that for you. <laughs> Using the coins in your wallet. I bought the, the Game Informer issue with the Outer Worlds cover. For one dollar. Yeah. Get yours. Anyone play this game? Beards! 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 Is that you that smells? Nah, I just, I just cleaned myself. They back to requiring masks in Ohio? Yep. I don't know. They I don't are. go anywhere. We'd never go anywhere, but yes, they are. But when I do go places, I wear a mask. What about, um, that one time? Um, okay, Have first of all, camp? so many people are calling Beerus fat. Beerus, get over here. Beerus is fat. Are you really trying to say that he's Call him over so they can see him. Call him. Well, they won't see him. Beerus. First of all, our cat has a thyroid problem, and I know a lot of people say that, but he really has Lots a disease. Of say that. What they say that as an excuse. Um, a lot of people say their cats have thyroid problems. <laughs> yeah, they, okay, a lot of people say that as a justification, but Beerus really does have a disease. His fur is matted because of it. He has problems. Okay. I mean, Beerus has more problems than that. He, he's homicidal. Yeah. He's been violent lately. Does anyone know why? Like, does anyone ever have a cat that was, like, so nice and sweet, and then just suddenly, he's violent now. Like, he just attacks people. <laughs> he just attacks me. He attacks our other cat. And I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. I mean, like, he was never like that, and now he is. Like, <laughs> Change in personality. Hello, what's up? Yeah, I don't know. They say it's because of stress. Why, why would he be stressed? Lack of attention, maybe. I cuddle him every night. Maybe seeing another cat get more attention than him. I think, honestly, I think it's because we don't give him wet food. I think, because we used to give him wet food all the time, but we've stopped because he's so bratty about it. And so, he's a bit of a jerk about it. And then when I go in the kitchen, he'll start meowing at me. And if I go back upstairs without giving to him, that's when he attacks me. So I think that's what it is. I think he's just a giant... He hears you. <laughs> Yahtzee! You know I love this game. Hi, green chocolate E. But it's like been months since we give him wet food, so I don't know what. I think he's just mean. Be with. You're so sweet sometimes. I want to play that with you. So why do Tyler stream so late? Cause he works from home, so he doesn't have a schedule. And also, I, my sleep schedule is off. I don't even know how to play dominoes.
What do I talk about? You guys either ask me questions or um Um I've mostly been reading lately, but when I went through my last anime binge a couple weeks ago. Talk about what you've been reading. It was I don't know, a bunch of slice of life stuff. And I'm just stuck in the middle of a few animes. Like, I'm stuck in the middle of, um, Fire Force, and I'm stuck in the middle of... What's that one called? Asta. His name, Asta. Like, the main character is not Asta. Yeah, Black Clover. Black Clover. Just, like, I don't know. Yeah, Black Clover is like really good, but it has it's like has so much filler and I feel like new anime has gotten away from that Dragon Ball freaking filler 20,000 filler episodes, but Black Clover is just so much filler. Someone says they want you to see offices. They want you to see offices on workshop. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. To check offices map for this racing game on workshop. Oh, okay. Maybe later. Oh. Yeah, One Piece has a lot of filler too. I've watched like over a hundred episodes of One Piece and then Dearest. I lost interest. Why do you keep passing? What is this game? Why are you passing so much? What is this game? It's called pass. Nuh uh. Hungry. I'm so hungry. What should I eat? Ask if they, ask if they uh, think that if you were like an actual live streamer, you'd be successful. Um, I probably wouldn't. Ask questions. What are your guys' favorite fantasy books? Do you guys read? What are your favorite fantasy books? Well, tell them some of the books that you like. No, I want to know their opinions. <laughs> Eat some cereal? I don't really like cereal. They said there's a sliding sound. I just read manga. Is that considered books? Yeah, I think that's considered books. I, I don't know why people don't consider that a book. I read manga. I read a lot of manga. Oprah's book of the month. What is her book of the month? Can you turn that down? Uh, like, I think Beerus is like... He's right there and he's like, he's like getting nervous. <laughs> Help him then. <laughs> I'm, I'm too busy passing. Lord of the Rings? I just bought Lord of the Rings. I tried, I bought the box set. <laughs> Beerus. And I started with The Hobbit. I got 45 pages into The Hobbit, and I was like, so bored. And I, it's just the writing style. Like, it's so little kiddish. She thought the same thing about The Two Towers. Should I keep going? Should I, like, should I just skip to the first book and keep going? You read, the, you read part of the first book. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, I thought you did. No. Is that what all the books are like? That's the experience? What do you mean? <laughs> I want a lecture to read the Bible on screen. <laughs> That's funny. 
If you found the Hobbit boring, the others will be a lot worse. Like, I'm okay with it being slower. It's just the writing style. Like, I feel like, I, like, it just feels like it's for a little kid. Like, I just don't, I don't know. So, like, if I don't like The Hobbit, I won't like the other ones? Is that what you're saying? Glad we spent 60 bucks on that. Yeah, it was expensive. <laughs> to do. Maybe I should just force myself through it. Or just watch the Wait, okay, what do you guys think? Like, did you, do you really enjoy those series? Or like, are you, because it sounds like you guys think it sucks, but I don't know. I think that's the only book recommendation I got is Lord of the Rings. Could you recommend any books to them? Lord of the Rings is a landmark in the history of fantasy writing, but I'm not sure it holds up as well as an actual entertainment. The Stormlight Archive is awesome. Wait a minute, which one is that? I think I have the first. Hang that's on. The which one is that? Is that like um, the Way of Kings or is is that a different one? Yeah, I just bought the first. I have the first um, book, The Way of Kings. I haven't started it yet because um, it's just really intimidating. Is that a Sanderson book? Yeah, it's like 1,200 words or something like that. What, Mewis? <laughs> Stormlight is legit. Anything by Sanderson, really. I'm reading Mistborn right now. Well, <laughs> okay. I've read Mistborn. I read the second one. I forget what the second one's called. Then I bought the third one before I even finished the second one. And I don't like it that much. It is so hyped up. Yours. Give some hot takes on Sanderson, Boo Bear. Because we talk about this all the time. Tell them. Yeah, I don't know about Brandon Sanderson. I don't know about him. I think he's a little overhyped. Um, yeah, I heard Dune's good, too. There's so many books yeah, in the series. That's the Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if I want to commit to that many books. Well, you're going to start reading that, that Shadow of Bone book, right? Yeah. Right now, I'm about to start Shadow and Bone. Tyler, have you ever heard of H. Doom? Yeah, it's a it's a doom mod that's porn. It's a porn. Doom mod. Why did I know it was gonna be something in in the plot yet? Because why would they ask you otherwise? <laughs> they really want to know your opinions of doom mods. Oh my gosh! Somebody just made a Patrick, very subtle Patrick Rothfuss burn in the comments here. Oh boy, we've got some fantasy nerds. Okay. They said, the, wait, 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 where did it go? His main thing is that he's very reliable. He doesn't leave series half done. Uh-huh. <laughs> so let people know that you're a big fantasy novel nerd. They want to know about the portal racing game. That's what I'm playing. What? That's what we were playing. This? Oh, on, what, on the main monitor. 
Neil Gaiman books like American Gods. Is it good? I've heard Do you recommend that I've book? Heard a lot of good things about that. I've heard of Neil Gaiman, but I've not read anything. Whoa. Good morning from good Germany. Good morning from Germany. Oh boy. <laughs> Do they know that I'm going to a German village next week or this week? Not in Germany. Just so, <laughs> kind, let, isn't let that kind of like that what you were looking for a, a native German speaker? Yeah. It's Guten Morgen, right? <laughs> We've come full circle. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even want to read some of your comments because I think they're going to be like, um, Sexist. you're just trying to make me say inappropriate things. Yeah. But now my stream, my stream chat is usually good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the German person just said yes. Say something in German for me. I said guten Morgen. Oh, no, what's your favorite phrase that you said earlier? As tut mir leid. That's have, my favorite thing to say right now. Have the, Ger have the German person rate your pronunciation. Rate my pronunciation. Say it again. <laughs> As tut mir leid. I know what I'm... Wait, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Honestly, me and Tyler were in bed the other day and we were talking about all the wor English words I can't pronounce, so... Yeah. What was the one I was stuck on? Uh, it had an L... It had an R in it. I don't L anything with L's and R's? Together. Aw, they said pretty good. You have improved. <laughs> cool. <laughs> who's, uh, who's and I think I, I say to that, <laughs> it's it's I gung. I suck at that word so bad. Is that how you say thanks? It's scoody gung. It's 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 scoody gung. No, not ha it's not coming to me. <laughs> what's the what's the username of the guy? Um, Rob. Robotainment. Oh, Robotainment? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's crazy how I've been streaming for so long that I, I know most of my regulars' names at this point. It's Scoodigung. And Scoodigung. I'm not saying that right. Is that even how you say thank you? I don't know. I'm so bad. That means sorry? Wait, what do you- S2 mir lied means I'm sorry. Is gung? That means sorry? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Wait. Are you really arguing with the native speaker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what does S2 gung mean? Oh, yeah, I know Donka. Wait, I want to talk about some English words I cannot pronounce. Declaration. What was it, Tyler? What were we saying? For some reason, wolf you were having problems with. All my German is from Wolfenstein. Wait, someone actually tell me what I just said. In <laughs> you don't say that as a, like a thank you? I feel like it probably means a lot of stuff. Why did they? I don't know. When is Half Life Three? Next week. T it's Tuesday. Don't. 
I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. You really haven't been practicing. I, I suck at practicing. The best I do is I have this translation app and I try to translate anything that I think of. And then learn also... The word, learn the word beha. Ask uh, if that's actually like what it is. I learned the word beha. Um, what else have I learned? <laughs> I don't know. Is that a toilet behind the TV stand? No. <laughs> uh, that's a VR... That's a VR... something for a VR case. It does look a lot like a toilet. Yeah. Have I ever learned to swear in German? Um, let me try to think. Did you get confirmation on what Biha means? Biha means bra. Ooh, skanky. Um, the combine helmet, yes, I got that for Tyler for Christmas. What was that last year? Anyways, I'm going to a German village, and I, I'm gonna probably buy- You know how to say I'm sorry and bra. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, I don't know, I really need to practice, like, um, just the basics, even though I've learned them. I'm just gonna get nervous and not know what to say. You know? I'm not going to Europe. <laughs> I'm going to um, Pennsylvania Dutch country where my grandma, grandpa immigrated to. I don't think I could go to Europe even if I wanted to right no. now. combine helmet on Etsy if you don't mind me asking. No, I bought it from I forget their name. I think it was Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> I was gonna say Melissa. <laughs> um it was like a subscriber of Tyler's. They reached out to me. They said that they'd sell it to me. So yeah, that's how I got that. Um, hate how I can't swear in chat. You can't swear in chat? Why? Can the lecture have a German word of the day at the start of Tyler's videos? <laughs> I also really like to say kartoffel. I don't know. I like that word means potato. <laughs> you can't wear- wait, you can't swear in its unique chat only, which is annoyingly- annoying, honestly. Wait, what is a unique chat? can't say something that resembles what you previously said. I'm sure you can excuse yourself for your poor- mm, That's what I'm saying. Anything with R's and it, like, we do this all the time. I, like, I should have been in speech therapy, because I- for yourself for poor- poor German <laughs> by saying something like, it's gang. Oh, okay, so you're telling me how to say that I'm bad with German. I don't even want to attempt that. 
<laughs> because I'm scared to be wrong. So, and this is like through the computer. So if I was in front of a German speaker, I would not even want to speak. <laughs> Just gonna say. Um. I was gonna sing that song, but I can't do it. Okay, I have to memorize that. I have to memorize that. Many, many, many pandas. Do you know German? Did you like learn it in high school? Love all the posters in the background as well as the consoles on the entertainment stand. Thanks. <laughs> In the toilet. What is that? The toilet? There's a fly. Tyler's playing. What is it? Switch. Switch games. I don't. What is it called? 51 Worldwide Classic. 51 wide world <laughs> wide world world classics English is my living spot <laughs> Chonker You hear what they call you Beerus? Here sees the fly and he he's engaging. Beerus. <laughs> I studied for a year in high school, but that was my sophomore year two years ago. <gasps> oh my goodness, you're so young. Hey, Wow, you're still in high school? <gasps> Did you just call my cat gross? No, it's... Did you just call my cat gross? <laughs> Man, that guy. <laughs> Gross means large? I've seen that word before. I should know that. I should know that. I've literally learned that word so many times. Oh no. See, this is how bad I am. I'm gonna have to power study in the car. No, I'll, I'll study before then. They said that's your grob. <laughs> well, that's still an insult on my cat's part, so I'm still offended. As we've said, he does have a medical condition. <laughs> Put on that helmet on Tyler's show. These people are obs <laughs> obsessed with all the stuff in the background. I could put that on. Tyler is a stylish hyunga, which is Tyler is the stylish boy. I know that. Look at him. Look at him. Such a stylish boy. Such such a stylish stylish boy. He sounds like a leprechaun. I sound like a leprechaun. That's what they say. 
I do have a, a translation on my phone where I literally type in like so many words a day because I'll wonder like what they are but I almost always forget them immediately. Yeah. Alright, have fun at work. Robotament. Robotament. Yeah, I watched this German YouTube channel that literally is them just going around the streets talking to German citizens to help you, like, learn the language just through, like, asking simple questions and hearing simple answers, you know? And, um, I don't know. I think, I really just think I learned language slow. I didn't learn English till I was four or <laughs> five. I didn't, um, didn't learn my first... <laughs> my first language till I was four and um that's that's the sad truth that I'm trying to learn a second Tyler there's a typo in your twitch link in your tweet it doesn't surprise me Tyler makes a lot of typos <laughs> that I'm always telling him about I don't know how to say Half-Life 3 confirmed in German. Am I a Valve fan too? Um, not really. I'm sick of Valve. <laughs> if I ever was one, I'm not anymore. <laughs> Talk about Valve off camera. Shut up. <laughs> Literally, you know that one. You know that one line from um, was it Parks and Rec, where he's like in a hardware store and they ask if he needs help and he's like, "I know more than you." Is that the right show? Yeah. Um, yeah, I know more than you. That's all I'm gonna. St that's my answer to that question. Does Tyler speculate about Valve and Bad Electra? Yeah. <laughs> I think I have, yeah. Like, literally, we had to make a rule that on dates, we don't talk about Valve. <laughs> <laughs> not kidding. I'm not joking. That's the tea. Does Electra have an obsession like Tyler with Valve? Not with Valve, but she has an obsession. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I could never hear the world. Oh, did I? T it's W's, L's, and R's. I swear to God. The, what am I even trying to say anymore? World, world? Is that no? That's not what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I give up on English and German. I'm not speaking ever again. No, really. I don't if. Would you even call that a speech impediment? I, I don't think it is. It's like just a... Elektra can nick sprech, sprechen. Con, not can, con.
Yeah, I can barely speak English, so I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, tell what are some tell me some of the words I can't pronounce. I can't think of any. Like we literally spent a good ten minutes in maybe even fifteen minutes in bed trying to work on my pronunciation of a couple words. I don't know. Can you spell that, Electra? Spell what? That, T H U T. That? Yeah. They asked if you can spell that. Spell that, it's T H A T. Give me a word. World. <laughs> Is that what I was trying to say? Just say worldwide. <laughs> oh my god. That's hard. Pitbull is Mr. Worldwide. Say it. Pit Pitbull is... <laughs> what do you want to say? Wor worldwide. 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 Say the Witcher. Witcher. Oh, I did that good. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. English isn't my first language, but I hate- Hey, how are you swearing? I thought you couldn't swear in here. They just said the F word. You guys told me they couldn't swear. English isn't my first language, but I hate the world- The word? World. Yes. Yeah, and I, I can't say most people can. Can you say rural? Rural. Rural. That's a hard word. Just pronounce it in British version. Rural. Is, hey, they're saying the F word. How? Goodbye, Lynch146. Not even Long Dick Johnson, and he had a fucking long what dick. What are you eating? Is that soup? He's eating soup. I know the German word for soup. It's supa. S U P P E. I know the German word for vagina. It's vagina. Swearing bad bad here? No, I thought there was like a a program in here that disallowed you from swearing. So when someone swore, I it you know it's like it broke the system. Tyler, do you know how to spell soup in Russian? I don't. Imagine a world where Tyler doesn't swear. That's not a world I want to live in. Um, so I've been watching the show Everybody Loves Raymond, and Tyler cannot stand it because he sees himself in it. <laughs> Beers meowing. By the way, I apologize. I apologize. Yeah. They probably don't even know what the show is. I made homemade soup today while Tyler took a nap. This lady keeps ignoring me. What? I'm sorry. 
What did you say? The Rat Man's a character in Portal 2. I want to hear more about the Rat Man. That's what you want, her? <laughs> Tyler forgot to close the game he was playing. Now I know. Jesus, how old you think I am? Okay, there's a lot of conversations going on. Yeah, that happens. I'm just... <laughs> oh no! Oh! I just crashed your car! What do I do? I'm trying to change this. All right, how do you? Um. Oh no. No, I'm done touching things. You're terrible. <laughs> Ask Tyler if he likes fear. It's a video game. This computer, boom. My hands smell like onions, and I like it. tried to do that. <laughs> How does she not know that? Listen, Tyler has three monitors, a bunch of streaming software, okay? A bunch of it or just one program? I don't know. I don't want to ruin stuff. We get Tyler, they said we get What's that mean? It means what's up? Uh I wanna end the stream and go to bed. Okay. Electra likes to pretend to punch me and she absolutely loves it when I really act it. Yeah. Do it a couple times because you're not <laughs> 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 Check offices map on this distance game. All right. All right. Um. Um. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. I'll be upstairs in a minute. Aren't you gonna push me off? Whoa. I meant to like dump the chair. I'm not gonna dump the chair. Oh god. Whoa. Okay, bye. Um, I was gonna say. Whoa. Thanks for the five gift subs, by the way. Whoa. Bye. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Whoa. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. 
Oh, goodness. <clears throat> oh, boy. All right. Okay. How do you... Oh, you can customize the car. How do you play the game? Level editor. Oh, wow. No. Arcade. Enter a phrase and randomly generate an entire level. All right. Piss and shit on my dick hole. is not what we're here for. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. This must be a complicated level, because it sure is taking a while to load. What kind of level are you making me play there? I'm scared. Uh. Tyler, have you played Ultra Kill yet? Yeah. Yeah.
That's really funny. I'm gonna show that to Will. I'll show that to Will later. I'm almost done, Boo Bear. This is nuts. How many maps? Oh my god, 4,000. Main menu. 4,000. I'm going to type in Half Life. Portal. Minecraft. How is that Minecraft? This one's Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Talk to y'all later. Peace and hair grease. Adios.